Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for another in our series of product unboxings, first impressions, and reviews. This is brand new. I just received it. It took me about six weeks. I was on a pre-order list from vapesmart.com because frickin' Puffco won't ship to New Jersey anymore. So, introducing purchased by me, as always, for $299 plus shipping, the Puffco Proxy. Now, this is going to be one of those items that Mrs. Stoner and I are going to use quite a bit. I actually have on order a flower bubbler, and I have on order a, a, a flower atomizer and a bubbler. And we're going to see, and a travel kit. So we'll see how that works with this. The Puffco Proxy is getting very good reviews out there. Well, you know me, I buy all my things myself and I'm really tough on them. So, the packaging on the Puffco Proxy, very nice. They have a wrap that they're using and that cuts down on cost. They're very smart people. They don't have to do a full box. And then on the inside of what would have been the box is the carry case. There's a diagram of the product on the front, clear shot, and a illustration of the product on the back with components that you get inside. This is called a modular vaporizer. Now it looks like, as you can see, a traditional pipe, but it's got what is called a modular design with a ceramic chamber and Puffco's 3D technology. It's compatible with extracts right out of the box and there's a dry herb attachment that's on order, as I said. Puffco says this is groundbreaking because they're introducing a lot of aftermarket products. Third party people are gonna do a lot of aftermarket products and you can just keep building on top of it. It's $299. It was released in mid-June and really what you're talking about is a device that can handle anything. It can handle live resin, live batter, crumble, diamonds, a lot of full spectrum THC extracts, distillate, etc. And right off the bat, you see that it's a different looking product. Kind of like that Sherlock Holmes look. Well, you know what? We're gonna take a look at it now. Presenting, as always, purchased by me, the Puffco Proxy. Here we go. Ta-da! Wow. Well, it comes with a dry pack in it. And as Puffco normally does, they put it together really slick. Inside, it's foam cut out with a mesh netting with the utensils on the side, a few dab tools. You have your instruction manual on the inside and the unit over here. Let's take out the unit. The unit is, as I said before, designed like a Sherlock Holmes pipe, but it has one cool thing it'll do. Stand on the desk for you. What do you think of that? It comes with a container inside I'm not going to open I'm going to show you it inside the, the case is a container for your atomizer it actually says on it chamber storage so if we're going to go with a second chamber there's room for it and there's a lift up compartment also inside which has the charging cable and just called a stash pocket with a magnetic top to it. So it's good to put your things in, possibly to put a container of wax in, etc. Now we're gonna pull out the instruction manual and get looking on this puppy. It comes actually sealed in the box. They don't want you taking it out unless you are the purchaser. Inside, you have three things, the manual, a warranty and foreign language. So put those aside. And now we've got in our hand the manual. I'm gonna close up the box. I am gonna take out, however, the charging cable. It's gonna be a C charge, USB C charge, which will be a quick one, but it's gonna need some charging, I'm sure. We'll take a look at it. Maybe they came out of the box with a little bit of charge inside of it. So let's talk about the design of the product. It is a first of a kind modular product, but it has really basically two components. 
the glass, the glass, and the base. The glass is basically the body, a huge mouthpiece. And the glass is black near the base, as you can see over here. And then as it stretches out towards the mouth, it gets sort of gray into clear, like a smoke. The features, a glass mouthpiece, glass body material, LED indicators, which we're gonna talk about, has haptic tech, has a sesh mode, it's a ceramic heating element and a ceramic design. Temperature settings will be four. It's got a one hour charge time, which gives us six to nine sessions per charge. The base of the unit. Let's first remove the chamber. The chamber pops right out. I mean, there's no screwing or unscrewing, really. The chamber really does pop right out. It was very interesting. Okay, so the chamber now over there and your base over there. So the modular design makes Proxy the first one, this is Puffco's pitch, the first one, what's called transferable heating element. In other words, it can be used as a heating source for any unit that has the right dimensions to house it. What do you think of that? That's pretty clever, okay? So the air thing is on here. The water filtration's on the way, I have it on order. Let's take a look at further things. Let's get into the heating element. They call it the exclusive 3D heating element. Ceramic coil. And let's take a closely look because what you should see inside of this, inside the actual chamber itself, is we should see coils built onto the side walls because that's what 3D really means. And you know what? I'm seeing it. Take a look inside on the side walls. You'll see what looks like striations, actual lines. That is the wire, the coil inside the walls of the chamber. That is what makes a 3D chamber. So unlike traditional coils get the heat from the bottom only, the heating system here is gonna come from all sides. That is really cool. It's got a Puffco Pro-type snap-on carb cap design. Looks like the Oculus. And then the pin design's on the bottom. Pin design on the bottom with an air opening. So I'm going to think that you want to put it in in the right spot. You want to make sure when you put the chamber back in, that you're getting it to the right spot so it's on air. Now, you know what that does, I think? There might only be one way to get it in. Let's see, yep. Looks like there's one way in. And there's very good draw, one way in. So what you wanna do, I think, is you wanna align that bottom hole, that black opening there, with the bottom hole see if I can get it for you. The bottom hole in there. It's kind of on top of the two copper brass fittings. You see them? See the hole? Okay. So when it goes in, it clicks. You're going to feel a click when you get it right. Click. Kind of slides in to the right. That means that it's in its spot. Let's put it back into its container Wow, check this out. Cap on, cap on, right? Kind of a snug draw, watch this. You almost, you can hear it, ready? And I didn't change the amount of draw I was doing. So what you've got here, this is huge, is you've got a flow of air that's almost like breathing. Man, for me personally, there lies the difference. You know, I talk about it constantly. Airflow, draw, 
blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? With predictable temperature, four temperatures, with easy loading, pop out the entire unit if you want. You really have something here, Puffco, in this design. I am really impressed. I am really impressed. You can also get a ball cap for this for about 40 bucks. Now, let's talk about how you use this product. You know, before I even load it. Let's talk about it. Well, you can use any loading tool you want, okay? You want to use extracts that might not be the stickiest one you have. Okay, but if you have a sticky one, Puffco says use their hot knife. Okay, so you can use any type of extract in here. So what's going to happen is, inside, you're going to now have your dab material. And then how are we going to turn the unit on? Anybody got any ideas where the on switch is or something like this? How do you turn this on? Well, let's see. You close the carb cap and hold the button down for three seconds to unlock it. Ah, the button is a oval rectangular looking notch right there. You see it? That's the switch. Here we go. Hold it down for three seconds to turn it on. And it's lighting. It just turned white. My golly. Okay. So then what you do after that is you take a single press to toggle through your four temperatures. Green, red, white. And blue. So what I would do is I would go back to the green setting, which is what I do. And your green setting is where you're going to be. Whatever setting you're on, you're going to do a double click. And the double click is going to start things going. Okay? So when you give it your double click, you're now going to be on. And it will give you that slow pulse. Come on, remember the Puffco Peak or the Puffco Peak Pro. It's going to give you that warming up. And then it's going to vibrate and be solid. And guess what? That's how you use it. Now, think about the concept of this design. It's all about vapor quality for Puffco. Okay? You want creamy vapor full of flavor and terpenes. So unlike a vape pen, what this has is a very large mouthpiece, which actually doesn't just give airflow, but it allows the excess heat to dissipate into the air as it moves up the the uh, up this mouthpiece before it hits the tip where you are. Now, they didn't invent the wheel here, but they modernized it. Think about pipes, concepts, okay? So the proxy stays hot for around four draws before automatically turning off. You can extend the session by double tapping the button. Now, this is really pretty easy. There's no torch. There's no batteries to put in. All you got to do is charge it. And in this case, it comes in out of the box, charged enough for me to do the demo. Now, I think what we want to look at when we get further attachments is how is it on portability? How is it on long-term survivability? You know, does this, does this piece break easily? Things like that, okay? But this is next generation. What we have to expect is that other manufacturers are going to knock it off. We're going to see other modular designs come. We might even see other pipe designs like this come. There are other 3D chambers on the market, but Puffco has done something I think that's really cool. Puffco comes out with packages. That's right. The bub, which is the bubbler, the travel pack, the flower bowl, the 3D chamber. All these things are now available around and on other products, uh, other websites than just Puffco. And they're gonna have a lot of glass from third party people. And I have to say, that I really like it. Now you're gonna say to me, Senior Stoner, how do you like it? How do you know you like it if you haven't taken a hit? So you know what I'm gonna do? I told Mrs. Stoner I was gonna wait for her, but she understands how I love to do these videos. I'm gonna put some diamonds in and we're gonna light her up. 
this is our first hit out of our brand new, and I do mean brand new, $299 retail, which I paid for. Puff Go Proxy, here we go. On green, we're waiting for that haptic response. You can see it flashing light green into dark green, light green into dark green. Doing that as it brings the dab train. This is a unique portable way to engage and get our medication into our systems. I like the idea and the concept. We're gonna taste it very shortly. This is by Puffco, the proxy modular dab device. Cheers, everybody. Have a great day. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of flavor. A lot of cloud. Right out of the box. I'm going in for a couple of puffs. Not one. Not two. And let's see the efficiency of the unit on green. There still remains some oil. Very impressive. Very impressive. Now, I would urge everyone with this unit, all units like it, protect your investments. Use a Q-tip, get some ISO, and wipe your chambers after use. Wipe your chamber the best you can after use, and this will preserve your unit. This has been the Real Senior Stoner with the unboxing, first impressions, and actual demonstration of the Puffco proxy modular unit very impressive unit very impressive design not even hot to the touch fully rubber encased i'm totally impressed everybody this was a long one because there's a lot of meat on the bone here a lot to talk about i'm sure a lot of people are going to be buying puffco proxies puffco you did a good one on this one this is the puffco proxy everybody Go look for one. They're available out there in the market right now. Third parties have them. If your state can't be shipped by Puffco, I used vapemart.com. And here it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to do what you need to do. Hit the subscribe button. Join the family. Send a like. And truly, I reply to every comment because I appreciate every single one of you. Have a wonderful day. And thank you for joining the Real Senior Stoner, introducing the Puffco Proxy. Cheers, everyone.